it's not about you. It's not about your product. It's not about your service. It's not about your big idea. Every speech, every presentation is always about these people. It's about the audience, always. And today, I want to share an idea with you that's going to help you think about your speeches and presentations in a different way. I'm John Zimmer, and I'm here to help you improve your manner of speaking. If you do a good job with your speech or presentation, your audience should appreciate it. I mean, after all, you're giving them inspiration or information or insight, or maybe even all three. and That's fantastic. But let's be honest. They can get all of those things and more from other people or even on the internet. Our internet cuts out like every 10 minutes. At least when the internet is working. But your audience is giving you something that they will never get back. Their time. Time is the most precious non-renewable resource that we have. Remember what the late great Freddie Mercury said. Time is running out for a song. Fantastic song. Check out the whole thing in the notes below and listen carefully to the words. Because Freddie was right. Time waits for nobody. And when you are speaking, when you're giving a speech or a presentation, your audience is giving you a piece of their remaining time. So as a speaker, you have an obligation to make that time worthwhile, to give the audience something of value in exchange for the time that they are giving you. Whenever I have a speech or presentation or a training to give, I always do a calculation. Don't worry, it's not complex. But it's a calculation that I encourage you to start doing every time you speak in public because it's going to get you to think differently about the opportunity that you're being given. So what is this calculation? Very simply, you take the amount of time that you're being given to speak and you multiply it by the number of people whom you anticipate will be in the audience. That's it. The amount of time you have to speak multiplied by the number of people in the audience. As speakers, we need to think about the total amount of time that the audience is giving us. Because if I were speaking for 10 minutes to this audience, it wouldn't be just 10 minutes of time. It would be 10 minutes of his time and 10 minutes of her time and 10 minutes of his time and so on for every member of the audience. If you were asked to give a 30 minute presentation to 20 colleagues at work, that would be 600 minutes of total time or 10 hours of total time that you're being given. Or another example, you're asked to give a 45 minute keynote to a conference of 300 people. 45 times 300, that's 13,500 minutes of total time. That's 225 hours. 225 hours is a huge amount of time. If we figure that the average work week is 40 hours, 225 hours works out to more than five and a half weeks of full-time work for one person. That's an incredibly valuable resource and you need to treat it as such whenever you speak. And I promise you, when you start going into your speaking situations with an attitude of how can I help the audience, how can I make this time worth their while, then all these other things that we'd like for ourselves recognition, a new client, a promotion, whatever, they just start coming. Because your audience is going to pick up on the fact that you are there for them. And the reaction is going to be something like this. That's the tip for today. For other videos that I've done, you can check here or, I don't know, some of the corners, somewhere on the screen. You'll see it. It's not that hard. I always wonder, why do people point at the corner? It's obvious. You're watching the video. Have a look. I hope you enjoy them. And until next time, keep on speaking.